Okay, what is up guys? I'm back. So I made a vlog. Uh, I think it was Wednesday, but I didn't upload it or Tuesday, one of those. But I didn't upload it due to the reason that I didn't finish vlogging properly. I was in the middle of it, but I didn't finish. So today we're going to talk about Dina Tokyo and what she has done in the past two weeks or what I've heard or seen actually myself on YouTube. Let me tell you guys something. I was a big fan of that YouTube channel they had, Sid and Dina. Like, it was, it was pretty good. So not just because they're Muslim or they have, like, I'm sure they're Afghan too. I know the Sid is Afghan, not her. Because he lived in Peshawar and um, a lot of uh, Afghan immigrants moved to Peshawar a long time ago. So I'm sure his uh, parents are Afghan and stuff. Not because of that. But because you used to have, like, nice Q&A questions then. I know I'm, now I'm like doubting it. I don't know if they were actually real or if they were like just made up by them and so they can get views and stuff like that. And uh, but yeah, so what my reaction is about her hijab, like I don't I, I don't care. She can like take off her job as far as I know. She can do whatever she wants as her personal life. But her telling or saying, oh, why aren't other women allowed to marry? Or Muslim women are not allowed to marry non-Muslim men or taking off a job and all that stuff like that. You are social influencer, a Muslim one. The thing that gets me mad is that, let's say me, like I do pranks, I do vlogs and I'll do all these stuff. All of a sudden, I become a comedian or I do this and that. That's not my thing, that's not my specialty. First of all, I gain the views by pranks. And by being serious and being funny, I'm not just funny, I'm serious too. When it comes to serious topics, I'm serious. If it comes to funniest topics, I'm funny. But with her, was she got all these views she has. She has almost a million view, uh, subscribers on her channel. Actual, her own channel, not her husband's on her. 800, I think it's like 890 something thousand. That's the exact amount that I know. What my reaction or uh, what I'm mad about is that she is influencing other Muslim women not to wear her job. Or influencer or encouraging them to marry non-Muslim men. Well, first of all, let me tell her this: there is no verse in Quran and there is no hadith that says Muslim women are allowed to marry non-Muslim men. And also, the same goes to Muslim men: they are not allowed to marry non-Muslim women. But there is an exception. That exception is you can marry a Christian, a practicing Christian woman, or a practicing Jewish woman. That's the exception. Even with that. The Quran says that it ha they have to practice and not just like, hey, you know, I pra I'm a Jewish or I'm Christian, we can get married. No, not like that. She has to be practicing and make sure she is practicing. She's doing whatever the, the, their uh, religion says. Then, and on top of that, you have to pay the maha first and then you can get married and it will be perfect and there will be nothing wrong with that. That's the exception. So if she doesn't know, she should go ask. I'm not a scholar. I learned it myself too. It's not like, I'm, I'm not saying... I'm an Islamic scholar, of course I'm not, I'm not saying I can, but when it, I don't have to have a billion, view, uh, a billion of views or one million subscribers or a thousand subscribers for me to come out and talk about these stuff. When it comes to religion or culture or anything like this or serious stuff in the world, I think for me, my 500 uh, subscribers are enough for me to talk about it or even if I don't even have any subscribers, I can still talk about it because at the end of the day, I'm studying journalism right now. I'll be a journalist in the future. A year and a half from now or two years from now, I'll be a journalist. I'll have my degree. I, I, there's not a lot of Muslim journalists in the world. There's a not successful one. There's only few that I can name that are Muslim journalists that are the best in the world. First one, he works for Al Jazeera. His name is Mehdi Hassan. Okay, that's the first one. He works with Al Jazeera and he has shows. I forgot the... the he has few shows, but one of them is Head to Head that I watch. And he is brilliant. And he is one of the examples of Muslims that I look up to. Besides all these other people that I said, my idol, Hisham. Besides him, besides, like my Mehdi Hassan is the other one. I would say Christian Haman Poor. She was the one because of her, I became in the IK. I had interest in journalism because the first time she went to Afghanistan, she was the first woman journalist in Afghanistan. I think it was 2003 or 2000 two that went to Afghanistan in that time and met the president and made a documentary there with all those stuff happening at that time. So that's what it got to me. Okay, let's, that's, that's the thing that, hey, you know, I will have influence on the future too of the world and people are going to be looking up to me as a Muslim, young Muslim man that, hey, you know, he's like, he's a good example 
I hope parents can give my example to their kids in the future and say, hey, you know, look up to this guy. Don't become a journalist, but see what he's doing in the world. Become great at your own profession or what you're passionate about. You don't have to become a journalist like me. You don't have to be, become a blogger like thing. But what I'm saying is, become a good person, have a good influence. You're having a bad influ influence on everybody right now. Like me sitting down and doing this, this is a shameful thing. We shouldn't be doing this. We should be talking about, hey, you know, she's such a great example of telling people to do this and that. First of all, you gang these subscribers because you're doing hijab tutorials, telling young Muslim uh, thing, uh, females how to do their hijabs or how to do makeup and stuff. And today you're going to say, hey, you know, she already, left, she already, like, as far as I said, I don't care. She can take off the hijab, but when you're influencing others to do this, that's not fair because I have a sister too. I'm not saying I'm going to be forcing her to wear hijab and I'm not going to be forcing her to not wear hijab. It's her choice. Nobody can force anyone to do anything, it's their own choice. But at the same time, if you're telling other women to do this and you're making and you're posting stuff, hey, why well, aren't Muslim women married, uh, allowed to marry non Muslim men? No, that's not a good influence because there's no hadith or there's no verse in Quran that says you're allowed to do that. I'm not scholar, I'm saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, viewers or my uh, king family, king clan, like please correct me, okay? But as, as much as I know, that's the fact. And uh, Mohammed Hijab, I watched, I have never watched him before, but the past three weeks or four weeks, I watched him and this guy's perfect. Like he knows what he's talking about. And there's so much stuff that I look up to him in an Islamic way. He's not a scholar, but he's, he knows what he's talking about Islam and stuff like that. Ali Dawah is the other one. I don't watch Ali Dawah that much, but I watch Mohammed Hijab a lot because this guy knows what he's talking about. And he will give it to you straight. Like he doesn't care. He doesn't sugarcoat it. I'm, I'm trying to be like that too. I don't like sugarcoating stuff. Just for you to be happy, I'm not gonna say stuff that's not that's not true. I will say stuff to you that's true, and that's what I'm trying to do right now. And I hope my viewers or my king clan doesn't get sad or get mad. Hey, stop! Why are you doing this serious video? But I feel like most Muslim people are supposed to be doing that. And nowadays, they're making a joke out of it. Uh, Shami Idris made a, a vlog. I think it was yesterday or the other day, with his fiance saying, "Hey, you know, she's gonna take off a hijab," and then he's like, "Oh, just a prank, bro." I don't know why people no. Islam is becoming a joke to everybody and that's not how it's supposed to be. We're supposed to show people Islam is a peaceful religion. So they can like it, not say, hey, you know, they don't even care about their religion properly. So why should we show interest? And people are like looking at us like, look at these idiots, what they're doing. They're making fun of their own religion. Literally, when I saw that video, I was like, yo, are you guys kidding me? First of all, Dina does this. And it's wrong. And on top of that, Sham Idris does it. And he does it even worse because he comes down and with his fiance, oh, she was going to take it off. But at the same time, and they're just saying it's a prank. Bro, you can't be doing those stuff. I can never make a video like that in my lifetime. I don't care how many viewers I need to get. I will never do that. And I, I would give it to everybody straight if, if I have to. Like I said, I don't need to have a million subscribers or a billion views for me to do these videos. I can do it as a young man. As a person, I feel like that I have influence right now in the media and i will have it in the future for sure guaranteed so for me i think it was for me to, it was time for me to come on like i said i did create a vlog but that one i didn't post because there was a few other stuff that i wanted to say i've seen a lot of, okay let me, and there's another thing I want, to, I want to tell you guys there's a lot of youtubers i see they claim that they they love their fans or if anything they will do for them I've seen YouTubers, like I was doing, uh, my friends and I, we, we had to do a assignment for one of our classes called Interview and Research. That's our class, of course. Name. We had to do, our final, our final exam was doing interviews with celebrities, politicians, or big people in the government, or anyone that has a good job in a bank or whatever, that has influence on the, on the people, I would say, or on the world, or anything that impacts. I chose few people. First one was the Prime Minister of Canada. I didn't get his response. Then the second was the Mayor of Toronto, Mayor John Tory. I got a response from them saying, hey, you know, we got similar requests. So at this time we cannot go with yours. And I was fine with it because they actually sent me back a reply saying that. And I was really, uh, I was really supportive of that because I'm like, hey, you know, it's actually good that he is a politician who cares about us but i see other people like that not just politicians youtubers and stuff when it comes to viewers time or when it comes to subscribers time or for politicians when it comes to elections time they're out after us they're running after you they're begging you they come to your door themselves asking for votes or view or uh, youtubers asking for your subscription and stuff but when it comes to time for you and you want to just do a simple interview with them and get to know them and ask them just a few questions 
for school or just like for your own personal thing, they are like, oh, I don't have time or I don't do random interviews. Hey, bro. We all don't know each other when we first born, but we get to know each other. That's why God made us different. So I've, I'm going to tell you guys straight that if anyone in the future from now or whenever I have billion views or million subscribers and stuff or anytime and you guys want to chill or hang out with me or you guys want to be in my videos or anything like that just give me a text on Instagram or if you have my number just give me a text on my number and I'll be happy to actually do a video with you guys or you know hang out with you guys or if you guys need my interview for your assignment like I did when, when I was asking a certain person but they didn't do it and then I did it with one of my idols Mr. Hisham he's a data scientist uh, I can't say the bank or which one the ninth the best bank in the world but yeah so that was the stuff that I had to do and I was really appreciative of him doing that because he didn't have to he was super busy too but he did he took out an hour for me to do that interview with him so people like that like that's why I look up to him too I said because he is humble I need people who people who are humble they're more successful in love if you're too cocky you're not gonna go anywhere you're not I'm telling you there's I've, I can tell you that I've seen people that are cocky and they're not gonna get anywhere in life so what I'm saying to you to other youtubers don't change your faces don't be a two-faced youtuber be if you be that same youtuber that you were when you had one subscriber or if you have one million subscriber don't be don't be bragging when you're when you have one subscriber and then when you have a million you don't even know your viewers properly and you're just, hey you know, i love you but you don't really love anyone like all these youtubers that's why i wasn't on youtube because i was getting so toxic it was getting so stupid it was getting so irrelevant like i don't know people were posting random stuff exposing each other like bro why are we doing this we can have better stuff to do we had enough war world war one world war two the cold war why can't we all be together that's why god made us difference he like if all made all of you guys the same it would be bad it wouldn't be good you, you won't learn anything about each other but that's why he made us different but brought us brought different religions so we can learn about uh, each other and be like hey you know actually this person's cool he doesn't have to have the same personality as me but he's so good and i like that person like i told my friends i remember uh, two weeks ago it was not yeah it was in the class at like i was talking about professor I'm like, I think in today, today's society, we want to, if it's a girl, hey, you know, I want to find a guy who's my type. If it's a guy, hey, I want to find a girl who's my type. Bro, that's going to be boring. Like I was telling them, I'm like, if I find someone in my own type, it's going to be boring because we will have, we will, we will like the same stuff. We will eat the same stuff. We will watch the same TV show. That's boring. You want someone who's not the same. So that's my thing for you guys. And I think I talked for way too long. So I love you guys and I will try to make a video tomorrow if I can if I can and I'll do it after the exam week is done so